Hey guys, welcome to our playthrough part. I'm not so sure which playthrough part this is. I've lost track, but anyway, we someone told me that I should get a uh, a pit dove. Well, I've trained it. It's now level 31. It's a uh, what's it? Is tranquil now? Yeah, tranquil. And those are his moves. So yeah. Um. All right. So what's it? We're just gonna continue through the cave, I guess. I know you may notice the nickname, you know, Aim of Hawkeye from Marvel. Anyone play Marvel? Thumbs up if you played Marvel. Anyway, um, the bike. We can't even get to the stairs through the bike because you know the quickness of the bike. So we're just gonna pass the Nugget Brothers, go up the stairs, and. Yeah, repel's gone off. We're gonna have to use a repel now, so. Alright. There's no item there, I guess. Ooh, there's, some, there's something there. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a Pokemon. What is it? Who is it? It's a Drillbur, and you are a female. Sorry, I don't accept females into my group unless it's actually a Pokemon that has a female kind of Pokemon, kind of like, you know, like Gardevoir or whatnot. So, bye bye. If it was a male, I probably, I probably would have catched it. Anyway, we're going to have to go back to this up bit here. And let's see. I guess we can battle him, I guess. Alright, so we're going to have to switch our Pokemon around. And alright, let's go. Except this guy doesn't have doesn't actually go with an exclamation mark. You have to talk to him in order to battle him. So... Alright, so he has like one Pokemon, which is going to be a Swadloon. And... Yeah, we're going to send our Aim of Hawkeye. So, yeah, Air Cutter, and that's a one-hit KO, and that'll be it. So, pretty quick battle. And, of course, he heals my Pokemon. Because that's what he does. He's a, he's a doctor. Alright, so here's going to be our first Team Plasma battle of this part. Or actually, I think it's the first, yes, it's the first plasma, plasma battle of the cave, actually. Alright. So, hopefully I should be able to finish this sometime before Pokemon Black 2 and Pokemon White 2. Because, you know, if we finish just before then, that'll be pretty cool because we can just continue the series. Alright, so that'll be... What? Um... What was it, what was it, what was it I was to talk about? Um, I need to get play I need to get playful pass out a lot often. Anyway, seems like Hawk. No, okay, um, fuck. I, I don't even know what to talk about. Let Let me just catch my foot for a minute. All right, so Hawkeye's just gonna finish this walk Watchhog after a fly, and well, it it lived. It lived. All right, never mind. All right. So now it's at level thirty-two, and yeah. It's evolving. Oh my god, it's evolving. Should I press B? Should I press B? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I should. Nah, forget it. Alright, so our Hawkeye finally evolves into a Tranquil. Oh, uh, I'm saying Tranquil. It's an Onfacent. It's right there. Alright. So there is a is a timer ball, and if we can no, just you can't see that bit. All right, so on to the second cave, well, second grant of the cave. Okay, sorry if my um, narration is slightly ill because uh, I've actually had to narrate like what four videos before this one, and I kind of had it in the back of my mind that today is Monday and I wanted to like get everything out of the way. You know, like record a lot of stuff so I don't have to deal with these you know as a spread uh, over a spread of time so my throat is kind of dry despite me taking some tropical juice if I could just reach it down here you know it's kind of hard if to narrate quite a lot of videos in one go but anyway so now we're sending out our newly evolved Pokemon aim of Hawkeye Speaking of Hawk Hawkeye, well, Taskmaster really. I don't really play Taskmaster in 
Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3. Anyway, does any of my subscribers even play Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3? And on the Xbox as well, not PS3. I know, I know there's quite a lot of PS3 users on YouTube. I don't know why, I think I, I took... It's like PS3 is for those who grew up with Spyro the Dragon and whatnot. And Xbox, I don't know, probably because of the market. Actually, both have marketplaces. But, um... Well, Xbox has what more? I don't know. Should I say more sophisticated online? I mean, I'm not gonna put PlayStation down on the fact that it got hacked. I'm pretty sure Xbox got hacked before. So you know, and we, well, we is hacked every second. <laughs> anyway, I see a trubbish. It's time to take out the trash with Ninja Watt. So, yeah, level 32 and. What, we're level, what, got 99 HP? We, I want to try and get up to 3 digit HP, kind of some, you know, 100 HP, 102 HP, you know, whatnot. Anyway, we've had Duel for quite a long time, actually. From the time when it evolved from an Oshawott, it's still on Duel, I guess. I might miss it later on when it evolves into a Samurott. Anyway, time to move on to the next Grunt. And, uh, okay, what can I talk about? Uh... Jigglypuff. So I'm, I'm looking at my Super Smash Brothers Melee um, case, and then I'm thinking about that competition that they did. Someone got what, 12 seconds point nine nine, which is like unbelievable. I mean, if anything, that guy should have told told us not to use uh, Jigglypuff. Anyway, we see a new move. We've got Aqua Jet, and we're over 100 HP, which is good. Well, total max HP anyway. Uh. Alright, so we're going to swap a few Pokemon, we're going to swap uh, Victini with Dewot, we're going to swap Shaggy with Dewot, well, heard you, but you know, I, I, like, I like Shaggy, because Sh Shaggy fits the, fits the term better, you know, Shaggy Dog, Shaggy, Scooby-Doo. Anyway, we're going to have to use a, a Super Repel, because Super Repels actually, you know, I was going to talk about Max Repels and Super Repels. People usually use max repels because it has the 50% no, the 50 steps more uh, you know immunity to Pokemon to our Pokemon. But if you actually you know if you actually add it up, super repels are cheaper in the long run, which is kind of it's, it's you know it's, it's kind of if you're money conscious then you know definitely go for super repels. But otherwise, you know may, may as well go max I guess. But it's it's gonna cost you in the long run. But I know it depends how much money you really have. I mean, I would prefer to be the cost-effective guy, you know, buy lemonade over hyper potions unless I really need to, and uh, you, you know, all sorts. And if I get if I get moo moo milk, definitely get moo moo milk because, you know, a hundred percent, no, a hundred uh, HP gain for what? Is it uh, five hundred Poké dollars? It's really really cool, as opposed to buying what a super potion or something like that. In fact, a super potion even costs more than a moon milk. Anyway, we see a uh, drillber, and yeah, we're gonna start with victory. And the grass knot this does absolutely nothing compared to this confusion, which is actually gonna take it out. That's because drillber is a light mother foe. Anyway, I should think that my beta of my Pokemon uh, beta upload. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Six in HP. Do, do we lift this recoil? Do we? Ooh, just on five. Anyway, as I was saying, I think my Pokemon beta upload should be up quite soon. If it's not, it, then it will be up already. I'm not exactly sure when it's going to be up. We'll see which gets there first. If it's up, then, you know, anyone who came to view this video, then hello, welcome. <laughs> Enjoy your stay. If you do, then please subscribe. Uh, if it hasn't been up yet, then it should be up very soon. So, you know, I think, what well, I uploaded a... Uh, it was a double bat, a double battle. It was a VGC match that I did sometime over Wi-Fi, and it was a really, really, really uh, close match. Although a little bit of hacks there and then, but you know, it, it was a really good match. And I, f I, you know, I figured you know, good matches should be uploaded to be on as like, you know, this is such a really close match. I may, I may as well get up there. Besides, Pokemon Mosh Pit Beta has not exactly done a double match in ages. It's like. Every single match day is singles. Anyway, don't look at me, don't look- Oh, I looked at me. She looked at me. Now we have to battle her. 
Anyway, I'm kind of hungry. I should get something to eat soon. Not exactly what I might eat. I might grab a pizza or some rice. I might even get some chicken and chips. Don't go stereotypical on me. Don't go stereotypical meal on the chicken. I know there are people who are just like, haha, you're black, you should eat more chicken. It's not not every black person's like that. Seriously. But that that's just the opinion of people, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, uh what else? Oh yeah, Fire Emblem. Have I mentioned Fire Emblem? I don't think so. Anyway, I've completed Sacred Stones and I'm and now I'm going to go into the I think it's called the Lagdo Ruins. But anyway, I've played through Ephraim's story and Erica's story. Pretty short Sacred Stones, I guess is a good one for, you know, beginners. I kind of got the game on my uh, my 3DS Ambassadors. You know, because of that game, I actually got into Fire Emblem. Now I'm even playing the first released uh, English GBA game. You know, Fire Emblem GBA game. On my computer. And then I have Shadow Dragon on my DS. So after the GBA version, which is actually more complicated than the than the Sacred Stones one, I think I'll probably go on to the Shadow Shadow Dragon. And if I don't play Shadow Dragon, it will be because the European release of the Sacred Stones 3DS will no the Sacred Stones 3DS Fire Emblem 3DS will be out. Anyway, if you can see there, we've got a star piece, and this item here is going to be a hyper potion. So, you know, two items in one place, which is kind of neat. And then we have a third item, which is going to be a rare candy. A very useful item. Which will level up our Pokemon sometime soon. And uh, our our Dowser machine seems to be responding. So, down here will be a Paralyzed Hill. So, four items in one go. Pretty neat. Alright. Oh boy, I'm really getting hungry. And this is going to be... Ooh, a Bug Gem. So, we get five items. How many do we want? Wow, we get six like <laughs> we get six items in one go. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm really getting hungry. <laughs> I should definitely get something to eat when I finish. So, what? Well, that was basically a mini treasure hunt. Uh, I can't. I kind of missed the Pokemon Platinum Underground. You know when you go underground and you start fishing for items. Back in the days when you would really want to get what some stones and some heart scales and whatnot. Really, really fun. I even remember that um, Platinum introduced some mini, some mini, uh, not exactly a union room, but it's kind of like a plaza, you know, where you can actually inter interact with lots of other people. Anyway, how do I get to level 32? And we all know that what that means, right? For those who don't know, it's evolution time! So, finally, our herd is going to evolve into a uh, Stoutland. Our big. One big shaggy, shaggy dog. And with a realistic cry at that. You know, most Pokemon have realistic cries in 5th gen, I think. I'm not exactly sure what Ken Sujimori was thinking, but most of the cries are pretty realistic. Especially Meloretta, Herdia, and uh, Stoutland, of course. And a few other Pokemon as well. As opposed to what the first gen, second gen, and third gen Pokemon. Yeah. Speaking of first and second gen Pokemon, I know there are people who will like say they'll always love first and second gen because they it's their favourites, and people don't really look up to fifth gen. Personally, uh, Pokemon, Pokemon wise as a whole, I think fourth gen was re really the cap for me. 5th gen is, in, if anything, it's just a little bit of extra added to the meta game. As for my favourite gen, due to experience, I'll probably say 3rd. I mean, to be brutally honest, I'll probably say 3rd is my favourite. Just because of Battle Tower and Pokemon Emerald. Anyway, I see you, N. I see you. But yeah, that'll be it for this playful part. I think we'll end it here. Next upload will probably be a little bit more than 15 minutes because I'm now able to upload over 15 minutes so we might get a bit of a you know a 20 minute a 20 minute upload just to get these playthrough parts up out faster but yeah that'll be it i'll catch you guys later with my next playthrough part upload or anything else and i'll catch you guys later peace